Hi, welcome to the Urban Outdoorsman SoCal video. My name is Danny Milton, and today we're in Sedona. I'm so stoked to be out here in Sedona again. Uh, I'm here for the Sedona Mountain Bike Festival. It's March, it's March 3rd, I believe right now. It's Thursday, the festival starts tomorrow. Um, I always like to come out a day early and get some riding in, trying to kind of get used to the, the conditions out here. It's, you know, higher elevation, usually much drier, although it's probably gonna be rainy for the next couple of days. But just to get a feel for the trails on my bike, that way when we go through on all the demo bikes, I kind of have, you know, a better feel for the trail, and I've done it recently. So, quick change of plans. Uh, I was gonna do just a full video on Grand Central, but because of all the trail maintenance, I didn't wanna, you know, go through there too fast and have the drone up in the air, so, just gonna show you guys all the trails I'm gonna do on Thursday. We're gonna hit uh, Ground Control, Last Frontier. We're gonna head over to Jordan Trail and go out to Javelina. And then after Javelina, we're gonna go down Brewer Trail. Um, I have done a full video on Brewer Trail. You click that link right there. You can see that. I've got the drone up in the air and you know a couple different camera angles. Just having fun on Brewer Trail. So come along for the ride and uh, yeah, let's have some fun. All right, here we are at the start of ground control. You can see that Sedona has all of these great signs and uh, maps, all kinds of stuff. You can see there's the ground control sign. Then down at the bottom, double black diamond, extreme difficulty, experts only. I don't know about expert, but we're still gonna go down it. A little bit of climbing here at the start. This is just my first run on it. I'm gonna do it a couple times. Bulk of this probably won't even make it to the video. Good morning. Thank you. All right, got a little technical climbing already. Typical Sedona fashion. Got a lot of these little staircase rock thingamabobbers. And then a lot of off camber single track stuff so and this trail's not even that bad trail like hangover is super sketchy as far as being narrow and having to climb Whew. this one's uh getting a little steep here heading into the super sketchy narrow trail part <laughs> definitely gonna just roll thanks guys Hi. just me Hi. I'll, I'm just cruising so thanks guys yep yep safe that's not the right line Thanks, guys. Uh, just me. Woo, all right. All right, here we go, last frontier. I think there's, I said I'm riding blind. A little bit of, looks like a little bit of up and down. And then a little bit of a downhill section and then a steep climb and then another long downhill section. So, 
We'll see how it goes. Riding blind is always interesting. Oh, especially somewhere here like with Sedona. You know, higher elevation, you're putting out a little bit more energy than normal. Get tired quicker. Full Sedona Trail. You know, lots of sage, lots of cactus, lots of loose rocks, lots of jagged rocks. Ooh, a nice sharp turn through some chunky stuff. Oh, hello. I'm going here. I guess I'm going here. Oh. Whew. All right. Getting a little narrow. A lot of exposure. If you're afraid of heights, this probably isn't the trail for you. The trail's a couple feet wide but it's pretty far down to the left there. Oh, a little steep. Ha, missed that one. Whew. All right, a little chunky there. Whew. <laughs> Just a little unnerving getting up in the air next to a big exposure like this. Trying to go quick. Uh-oh. Looks like we're finally in a mainly downhill section. A uh -oh. little bit of chunk. Oh, bouncy. Oh yeah. All right. Whew. Pebble grabbers all over the place. That was a fun little section. I hear the drone. I don't see the drone. Oh, landmines galore! It's the scariest part of riding Sedona is all of these sharp little landminey stuff. Well, the drone will start beeping if it loses me. I hope that's what it's supposed to do. Like that. Jordan, I have done just the beginning part of this over to where all of these drop in sections are or kind of, you know, drop in area, but never gone any farther past that. So, should be interesting. Another blind trail today. See how it goes. Uh, I don't know where the trail goes from here. I'm gonna do this whole drop in here. Woo! Fairly steep. A little bit of tight turns and technical sections here. Hopefully we get the good payoff going down Javelina and do so without seeing any Javelinas because they're pretty mean. Nice. Woo. All right, a little bit of fun here. Woo. A little bit of chunk here. Holy crap, that surprised me. 
is this? Oh! <laughs> Thank you, just me. Thank you, just me, have a good day. I think I'm still going the right way. Thank you. Oh, what is this? Nice. Very nice. Hopefully I don't just race past Javelina. Because I'm having so much fun on Jordan. But a Javelina. Angry pigs. I don't know if that's what it means. I'm about as Mexican as Taco Bell. All right, all right, all right. If you're old enough, you can probably tell me who said that. Oh, a little sender. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Didn't know there'd be a turn here. Slammed on. All right, now we're getting a little vertical, a little chunky. Woo. <laughs> Oh, I hate those blind uphill sections. Like that. Oh, come on. Oh my gosh, super tight. <laughs> All right, and I think that's it. Grand Central and Javelina. Woo. Oh, forgot about the little steep part there. So many little pedal biters on the outer edge. Woo. Now we're getting chunky. And I love the way these Magura brakes, they bite when I want them to, but they're just soft enough on the initial tap that they don't lock up quite as hard as uh, Shimano's. Got the Magura MT7 Pros front and rear. I also love the rotors. So much beefier than the Shimano rotors as well. Woo, this trail is chunky. Little sender right back there. Woo. Oh yeah, baby. This would probably be my favorite trail all time here. Oh, if it was just a little bit longer. All right, so thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. Do all that fun stuff for me, please. Smash that like button, share, comment. Definitely subscribe to the channel. Once you're subscribed, make sure you click that bell notification. I try to put out one video a week, but you know, with family and work and writing, you know, three, four times a week, I, I don't get one out. So make sure you click that bell notification so you do get notified when those new videos come out. And last but not least, click on one of the boxes in the corners. One will take you to a rides playlist, another to a favorite video, and you can click the logo in that corner, the Urban Outdoorsman SoCal logo to subscribe. Thanks a lot.